Uh, welcome to the second part of the tutorial, part two. And uh, in part one, what we've seen is we had one, two, seven keyframes, and each keyframe, what happens is there is a change in the bitmaps, and those changes are incorporated into those uh, frames. And when you go control and test the movie, you will see all of these frames playing in sequence and at a frame rate of four frames per second so if it is going for four frames per second and um, you had seven frames so the length of your the length of your presentation now is 1.5 seconds so but we were looking at say about um, uh, if you even if you're looking at about 20 seconds or say 10 seconds of presentation um, see the amount of frames that we wanted here so if you're going to do it individually it was going to take a while so I'm just going to go and copy frames so that I will continue to have the same kind of animation I'll just go quickly close this one here so this time, rather than just pasting one frame, I'm going to copy one to four. I'm not copying the fifth, uh, I'm in um, seven to two. I'm not copying the first frame because in the first frame his mouth is closed. So I'll go select that and you can't say control C. You go to only right click here and then say copy frames. Then again, select paste frames now and don't worry about that rectangle there let's say paste frames says because it's just a blank keyframe apparently so um, let's go paste frames and paste frames again and fifth time I'm doing this probably and say paste frames where is it I keep missing it all the time okay so there's one blank keyframe probably so I'll just go get rid of that one here and say remove frames now the length has gone to 9 seconds if I have to double this length to 18 seconds all that I have to do is to go copy the whole thing again copy frames and paste my frames here and let's see 18 seconds it's gone to end here I'll say again paste frames brilliant I'm going to get rid of these frames here now so I'll say remove frames so the whole entire length of my multimedia presentation is going to be for 27 seconds why should I uh, calculate this? Because I will let you know why we're going to be doing this. I'll say for, for the moment, I'll say control test movie. In this, I only have this person making the math gestures. Or it appears as though he's talking, but you can't even hear the audio. So let us say it's my own voice over to this person and um, I will go and record the voice for which I'm going to be using a program called as uh, Audacity so I'll stop this one here for now and remember I have to go for 27 seconds exactly in my Audacity so let's go here I will just go to Audacity 